Hi there, on this short video today I'm going to show you how to stop your Mac accessing a specific website or web service. You don't require any additional applications, software or know-how to do this, it's fairly straightforward. I'll give you a brief understanding of what I mean. If I open Safari and go to a website such as the BBC, I can load that website fine, no problem. And in this example, I'm going to modify the hosts file to stop that from being accessible. So I'm just going to cut out of the Safari just now. So if you select your desktop, a blank space just so that the find is active. And from the Go menu, select Go to Folder. And if you can type out this path, it's forward slash private, forward slash etc, forward slash hosts. And press Enter, Return, or click the Go button. And you'll see that the hosts file within the etc folder is selected. Now because this is a system folder, we can't modify the file directly in there, even though we are the system administrator. What you have to do is drag the file out. So if you just drag it to your desktop, and you can see that's created a copy of it. It's still in there just now. And what you want to do is um, right click if you're using a mouse, or if you're not, hold the control key and select that file. And then go to open with and select text edit, the standard plain text editor on the Mac. And you can see that there's some additional bits and pieces in here. If you want to add a note in, you can uh, put a hash in to do that. So this is just a comment. And then in a blank space within that file, you want to put in the IP address of the, the website you want to, to route the, the website address to. So I'm just going to put in the, the local host. If I type in the web address of the website I want to block. Now, you can use this for, for piracy and such, but if you have a good reason for blocking a website, this is what you would do. So, a reminder, you know, what I'm doing is putting in the BBC web address here, and then I'm putting in the the, the path we want that address to follow. So I'm putting in localhost, which means that this website won't be accessible. Um, if we go to file and then save, and again, this is the one in the desktop, so what I'm going to do is quit out of the text editor. And I'm going to drag the new modified file onto the etc folder and release. And as it's a system folder, we have to provide authentication. So we're going to say authenticate. And the system is then going to say, do you want to keep both the files because we already have one by that name? Or replace? Now we know we're going to replace. And now it's going to ask for my password as a system administrator to allow for that change to happen. And that's done. So you can see that was now last modified today at 3 o'clock. If I just close out of that folder just now, and I'll open Safari again. To try and access the BBC. It no longer loads. That is how you go about blanking or blocking a website from the... Um, on a Mac. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.